Half a day everyone, I'm Roda Simon and welcome to Chica Roda. Andrea Brillantes responds to Maldita is never assumptions about her. While she is definitely one of the most admired celebrities of her generation at present, wag kang mga by star Andrea Brillantes confess in her latest vlog that she actually got bullied and was loaded by her schoolmates when she was still a kid. Entitled Reading Your Assumptions About Me, she courageously read and responded responded to the assumptions about her that were sent in by her followers through Instagram with mean girls sa school as the first one she tackled. Ako actually ang sobrang loser sa school, promise. She started off disclosing that her life at school is totally different from her kadenang ginto character Marga. Since she's in the one being oppressed by her schoolmates, ako yung nabubuli lagi sa school. Lagi na lang tinatawag na higad ako kasi nga sa kilay ko tapos ako yung pinakamaliit. So lagi akong pandak, higad tapos bungi. Demon ang tawag sa akin dati kasi yung ngipin ko dati para raw pang demon. She continued, wala akong friends kasi pagpasok ko pa lang sa school, nursery pa lang, wala akong friends. Di nila ako sinasali sa mga laro nila, lagi lang ako nasa corner, ako yung ganong bata dati. Next was Retocada, which Andrea debunked and argued that she just glow up naturally. Particularly during her kadenang ginto days. She also refuted the notion of her being lacking mayaman by recounting that they used to live in the slums, which made her experience an ordinary childhood and a lowly life. To the point that he had to sleep on the floor with rats running around, around them, and their mom even had to sell some of their belongings in order to provide their needs. With regards to being maldita is never, di na maman si ng fan at mahirap i approach. The 18-year-old actress said that it's probably because of the resting bitch face that she always wears and her shyness is being misinterpreted by other people as she got linked to her love team partners and male contemporaries throughout her showbiz career not to mention how pretty she is there are onlookers who assume that she already broke a lot of hearts she's grateful for the comment, the compliment, and admitted that she did busted or rejected a few of her suitors, not because of their looks, but of their unlikable personalities. She had the same answer to the maraming nakafling comment. Andrea also refuted the misconception of her being an attention seeker which according to her is probably because of her loud personality and confidence to speak her mind similar with being maarte as she already took on a few bizarre challenges in the past and rather considers herself as kikai meanwhile she dis disapproved as well the assumptions about her being able to cook an impulsive buyer materialistic marupok and 5 5 tall since she's only 4 11 when it comes to not having in the industry she said that she's already contented with her having her love team partner Seth Fedelin and her ate Kyla as her best friends 
while she told everyone that she's trying to best trying her best to work on her baby voice in order for people to stop referring to her as childish on the other hand she agreed with the assumption about her being an honor student since she usually bagged a few medals prior to entering showbiz thanks for watching keep safe everyone please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell para ma-notify po kayo sa aking mga latest chika.